What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things box. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you can get notified as soon as we drop new content on this channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there's um, some news in the heavyweight division, some more good news for us as fans and that is that Eddie Hearn has won the purse bid for the IBF final eliminator which is going to be contested between Philip Hergovic and Michael Hunter. I believe Michael Hunter is the main sort of mandatory for it and um, so he's been looking to fight Philip Hergovic for a while. Certain deals have, have fallen through, they couldn't agree on a split so in swoops Eddie Hearn to uh, win the purse bids and yeah we'll see so this fight is going to happen at some point again this is great news for us as boxing fans because these are two of the top heavyweights two of the top 10 heavyweights um in in the division right now these are two guys that are at the peak of their powers they're in the the, the prime of their careers so for me i love to see fights like this where you get two guys none of them are washed up none of them are old they're both in their prime they're both sort of at their physical peaks and they're going to contest against each other. So, yeah, as far as the split goes, Michael Hunter, he's going to get the lion's share of, of the purse. I think it's a few hundred, about 300 and something thousand. And then Hergovic is going to get a 40% split. I think the total purse was about um, $600,000 or some something in that ballpark. And um hunter's gonna get 60 percent of it because he's the main man he's he's got the uh, better position in the ibf and then 40 percent goes to hergovic as per the purse bid and yeah with this fight the winner of this fight will be the mandatory who should get a almost straight shot at the winner of fury versus joshua because the winner of fury joshua will have all the belts including the the IBF at the moment is in possession of um, Anthony Joshua but depending on who wins the, the super fight um, the winner of this one Hergovic Hunter should get a shot at the winner of that one although in boxing we know it's it's not always that straightforward so the winner of, of this will probably have to wait in my view at least until next year until early next year at the very very earliest um, to get their shot at the winner of Joshua versus Fury because obviously Joshua Fury is a two fight deal um, the first fight I believe will be sometime in this summer and then the next fight probably the end of the year so whoever wins this one will have to probably wait in line because it depends on which governing body can uh, get their mandatory in first for the winner of Joshua Fury so uh, they're going to have to wait until at least 2022. Um, so, Hergovic, as a fighter, he's the guy that's more in the sort of um, uh, prospect stage. Uh, this will represent, Michael Hunter will represent his biggest test uh, thus far. He's beaten up, he's beaten some guys, you know, I think, I remember Eric Molina, Tom Little. Um, Hergovic has, has looked very um, good, very dominant in, in his fights, and uh, but this one will represent his uh, sternest test thus far. Um, whereas Michael Hunter, he's fought um, sort of the better opposition at, at, at a high level because he's fought, um, he's got just one loss on his record, and that was when he was a cruiserweight. He lost to um, Alexander Usyk. And that was a time when Usyk was the main man at Cruiserweight. So no shame in losing to him. But since coming to heavyweight, he hasn't got any um, blemishes on his record. He's remained undefeated as a heavyweight. He looks good as a heavyweight. And he's a quick, sharp, fast um, guy. And he's he also, um, I remember, got a draw with Alexander Povetkin. Uh, this was, I believe this was on the Joshua versus Ruiz 2 undercard and that was it was a very good fight against um Povetkin. he came very close to stopping Povetkin in in that fight and it ended up in a draw both guys had the moments and yeah so the overall i'd say of the two of them you got hergovic unblemished record still um very much a, a prospect 
um, a work in progress, but he's still he's he's very good because he had a, a decent um, amateur time, decent amateur record. He hasn't done anything wrong as a pro so far, and for him, this is going to be the biggest test. As for Michael Hunter, this is going to be a massive test for him as well, and you know we we're going to see really. Um, so far, we don't have a date announced for this fight as yet, but. Um, for me and and other fans, I'm sure we're we're hoping that it's going to be as as soon as possible. I really want that announcement to be somewhere, you know, somewhere soon because um, it's going to be for me a quite a barnstorm. I think it's going to be a pretty exciting fight. Michael Hunter's got a very exciting style, and Hergovic is a guy that he's he reminds me a lot of um, of Vitaly Klitschko in in some in the way slightly in the way he boxes, but um i think his his expressions in in his kind of demeanor that sort of um uh, almost robotic demeanor where he just doesn't seem to to show any real emotions is is just like a it just comes across like a terminator just like some sort of of machine that has no emotion just i must break you you know he comes across as as that sort of um character so yeah, looking looking forward to this. No date announced yet, but as I said, hoping this will take place soon. And for me, as far as deciding a winner, I for me, I think this is this is a 50-50 uh, fight. I think both guys have got an, an equal chance of winning this fight. Um, I, it's one of them where I'll have to go back. I have to look at a bit of their footage, look at some of their. Um, previous fights. I've seen both of their previous fights, but I'd have to have a fresh look, give it a little analysis and, and really see. I, as of right now, to me, I just see it as a straight up and down 50-50 fight. I think either man has, has their um, argument to be the winner of this fight. I mean, it's for me, it, it will be a, an exciting fight when it takes place and it's one that either man on their day can win. So, yeah, all I can say, I'm looking forward to it and it's a good bit of news for, for boxing fans all over the world. Another good heavyweight scrap and let's hope it happens sooner rather than later. Until next time, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And this is MKO Pugilism over now. I'll catch you on the next one.